All right, guys, this is mainly targeted toward the beginner of the beginners. For those of you that are trying to get voiceover work, uh, to, that want to do a cartoon, that want to do an animation, the absolute worst thing you can do is go to the voice engineer, voice director, or the animator themselves and say, can I be in your cartoon? Uh, let me be this character. Guys, that's never going to get you anywhere. Don't ever do it. Don't say, let me voice this character. I can let me try it for you and I can show you that I can do it. That's never going to get you anywhere. You guys, you have to have a voiceover demo. Your voiceover demo is your calling card. Let me give you an example of a voiceover demo. Just about 10 seconds worth. You say I'm an amateur. What do you know about me? <laughs> you think I'm playing? He thinks I'm playing. After an invigorating battle, we triumphed. All right, that demo was the amazing Devin Mack. If you want to go check out his channel, you can click the uh, button above. Very talented individual. That's what a voice demo is. A demo is a voice actor's calling card, their resume, what they use to show uh, to show prospective clients or agents or animators that they can do the work, that they have a variety of voices, that they have a range and that they can act. The basic the basic three things that you're trying to show someone is that you can act, that you have a range of voices and that you might fall into something that they could use. Because that's the first thing that an animator or a client or an agent is going to hear. Can they use your voice? Do you sound similar to the other people that they have in their database? Can you act? Can you perform? Can you improvise on a whim? And, you know, do you sound good? That's what these folks are looking for, you guys. Don't, do, don't produce your own demo unless you can make it sound amazing. I'm talking Los Angeles talent amazing you guys if you're making your own demo and it sounds like you put it together yourself or it sounds like something out of a garage or something your your five-year-old put together you guys it's never going to get you any work if your mic sounds crappy if the sound design on the demo is not put together correctly and and everything's back to back and, and and you deliver the best thing first and all that good stuff you need to really study how to make a voiceover demo. I'm not going to do that here, but you need to study how to make a good voiceover demo, you guys. It's important. It's the only way you're going to get work, and it's basically your number one primary weapon for earning work. All right, and that's the tip for today. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.